Hey guys, it's Joe from Eastwood. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the Eastwood Broken Fastener Extraction Tools. These are going to be a must have for anyone that's working with fasteners of any kind. Picking up a set of these is going to be budget friendly and it's going to solve a problem you have not had yet. Or if you're having a hard time with some fasteners already, don't worry, I'm gonna walk you through how these are going to solve your problem. So if you've done any work on a car before, and really I mean any, you don't need a guy like me to tell you that cars will rust and fasteners will break. Even the cars that were built the right way back in the good old days of old that we all love, they're made out of real metal. And after 40, 50, 60 years, nature takes its course. And when you have a rusty bolt or screw, it's that much more prone to rounding or even worse, snapping off entirely. That's where the Eastwood broken fastener extraction tools come into play. Firstly, let's take a look at the Eastwood nine piece bolt extractor kit. So how do these sockets work? Well, they're designed to bite into a rounded bolt in order to remove it. They're effectively reverse threaded. You give these a few light taps of a hammer to get it started onto the head of your rounded bolt. And when you spin these lefty loosey, those will bite into the thread. The more pressure you apply, the harder they bite in until your bolt breaks loose and you can back it out normally. All in all, you get eight sockets with this kit. These sockets will work with both metric fasteners and SAE. For Imperial, the smallest they'll do is a quarter of an inch. And from there, you get every size at 1 16th inch intervals up to 3 quarters of an inch. Just to convert that to metric for you, the smallest socket will do a 6 millimeter and the largest can handle a 19 millimeter. Each socket has its size laser engraved on the side as well as its conversion to metric, also laser engraved nearby. They're finished in a manganese phosphate coating for added durability and Eastwood even backs this kit with a one year warranty. Also included in the kit, you get a nice purpose built punch. Now what is that for? Well, like I said, these are designed to dig into a round bolt head in order to remove it. So sometimes getting the bolt out of the socket can be tough. This kit includes that punch so you could put it through the socket and tap out the bolt. As far as spinning these goes, really, really easy. You have two options. There's a regular 3 8 female drive hole, just like your regular socket. So your 3 8 inch drive ratchet will work just fine. But these also have a regular old hex to it so you could turn it just as easily with a wrench. While we're on the topic of turning these, we do recommend you only use hand tools. Next, let's take a look at the Eastwood six piece screw extractor kit. A screw extractor works in a similar way, just the opposite end of the equation really. Bolt extractors are gonna be female, screw extractors are the same idea, just picture it as the male version. Just like the bolt extractor, they feature that tapered helical design, they're reverse threaded, so when you spin these lefty, these will bite into a stripped out screw. And again, the more pressure you apply, the harder they are gonna bite in until your stud breaks loose, and then you could back it out normally. This kit includes six screw extractors in sizes one to six. One is gonna be the smallest, six is going to be the largest. They can remove screws in all sizes that are as small as one eighth of an inch, all the way up to screws that are as large as one inch. And just to convert that into metric for you, the small size is gonna be able to do a three millimeter and the largest you could do with this kit is a 25 millimeter screw. These screw extractors are tough. They're made out of a hardened chrome molly steel and they even have a black oxidized coating over both the tip and the drive side of the extractors to add some durability. Eastwood even backs this product with a one year warranty. On the turning end, they feature a square profile so you can turn these with an adjustable wrench. But what I like to use to turn these is the T-handle. If you've ever worked with the tap and die set, those sets usually include one. T-handles are perfect for this. They allow you to make sure you're applying equal pressure on both sides and that you're putting that pressure straight down perfectly perpendicular to the workpiece. The screw extractors come with its own hinge plastic case to keep everything organized. It has a quick reference guide for exactly what extractor you should use for each range of screw sizes in both metric and SAE. Well, viewers, like I said, these are some great items to always have in the shop. It's never a great day when you need to use extractors like these when you didn't expect to, but man, when you do need them, you'll sure wish you've spent a couple bucks to have them. If you are in that stressful situation right now, I do have a guide posted on how to use these kits. That will be linked down below, as well as links to all the products you saw in this video. If you like the content that we make, we have a bunch of other great videos on our YouTube channel. Make sure you head over there to check those out. Subscribe, like the video, leave us a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching. I'm Joe. Make sure you keep it right here at Eastwood to do the job right.